Eight weeks after Hurricane Harvey hit Houston, it's estimated at least a million vehicles suffered flood damage. Now dealers from around the world are ready to buy and resell those cars, but buyers need to beware. Although Texas law requires each vehicle's history be made available to buyers, safety experts say the effects of water damage are often felt much further down the road. Here's CBS 4 News correspondent Omar Villafranca. On 500 acres of East Texas land, thousands of neatly placed vehicles fan out across the horizon. Row upon row of cars and trucks now sit empty, waiting to be repaired, resold, or scrapped. Seth Angel is the general manager of the Royal Purple Raceway. Every vehicle here is here for a reason. It was damaged in some way, shape, or form by the storm. It's estimated that up to a million vehicles were damaged by Harvey. Many end up here or at a handful of makeshift scrapyards designed for a similar purpose. Aerial photos of the Texas World Speedway, about 70 miles north of Houston, show tens of thousands of cars lining the track. Eventually, the cars will be sold by insurance companies to salvage yards, dealers, and individual buyers around the world. And while Texas law requires that each car's flood history be made available to potential buyers, safety experts say the effects of water damage are often felt much further down the road. More than 50 electronic control units or computers in a car today, these vehicles are very susceptible to water. And that water is not friendly to these kinds of systems and can cause all kinds of safety hazards. With so many of these cars hitting the market, the DMV suggests that potential new buyers have the car looked at by a mechanic before they make the purchase. Raceway managers also say they expect to have every single one of these vehicles removed by the end of February, just in time for the start of race season in March. Omar Villafranca, CBS News. Baytown, Texas.